Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging. Well, coming at you with thoughts of the day. I'm a little outraged right now, so I thought I'd share it with you. That's what I do best, ladies and germs. Um, yeah, I went to town. You know, going to town these days is like, for me anyway, might not be for you. Working, you're talking yourself into it, laying out a game plan, making sure you have enough literature along in case somebody, you know, takes you to task for not wearing the costume or... Um, if you want to hand out literature to somebody who you feel might be interested in knowing more about the alleged pandemic. And yes, I do call it an alleged pandemic because I've done research galore on it. Um, how much longer are they going to um, get by with this mask demand? We are in the middle of June, ladies and gentlemen. Now, years and years ago, like eight, ten months, whenever people were following their own science was my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure you will, that viruses, whatever they may be, true or false, doesn't matter right now what it is, who it is, when it entered, when it didn't enter, if it's real, if it's fake, it's a hoax, whatever. According to their own stuff about, in that time period that I just mentioned, uh, weren't they supposed to die at a certain degree, like 72 or something like that? When it got to be warm, they died off and there was no longer fear. I see things getting more strict about that, instead, especially across the pond, you know, they have a law going into effect over there, or a mandate, or whatever the hell you call it, that um, starting on Monday the 16th, everybody who rides uh, public transportation must wear a costume, ladies and gentlemen. Even though we're further away from the event, and, and even though it's, there's plenty of evidence showing these numbers have been cooked big time, even though, you know, in terms of the UK in general, it was on March 19th, if memory serves, and it might not, that a memo came out from the government, the actual government, saying that this uh, particular virus had been downgraded and was no longer a public threat. Two or three days later, they did the lockdown. Things, we're living in an inverted, reversed, fucked up world, and yes, I said fuck, and I'm not going to put it for 18 and over, I'll just go ahead and let people know there's language involved here. A lot of people say fuck on here and don't give a shit about it. And I'm going to be one of those people right now. Uh, the further away we get from uh, alleged uh, virus season or whatever you want to call it, the more restrictions. When is this going to end? When are people going to... You know when people should have been out on the streets? Not that they can't be out there now. I don't even want to talk about that. I don't want to uh, be bombarded about it or how dare I not address it. Because right now I'm sticking on this one subject, believe it or not. People should have been out in droves. Droves, I tell you whenever these stupid things started to go into effect. Now, some tried later, and they did. Of course, they were all accused of being Trump-supporting right-wingers. I am a no-one supporter. I have to go over this every freaking time I talk about something like this. I support no one. I'm a political atheist. I don't believe in the system. I don't believe in politics. I don't believe in right-left fake paradigms or any of that jazz. Just to get that out of the way. And so I guess I would be considered to be a right-wing Trump supporter if I happened to go to a one of those rallies where they wanted to go back to work or what have you. You know, begging your masters to let you work again and pay into the system with your taxes. I'm telling you what, the older I get, the more of an anarchist I become. And I'm talking about the ones that aren't violent on the streets. That's another thing that's been oh, misconstrued in terms of uh, definitions. You know, when you say anarchist, people automatically think of chaos and craziness and torches whipping through windows and stuff. It's really not the correct thing. It just means, you know, not being governed or without gov without masters. I think it means. I'm, d I'm not going to look it up. I don't have to get every freaking thing right every time I make a goddamn video. And you can sit there and look at CNN and all this bullshit or outlets that trickle down through MSNBC and call themselves independent media and take donations when they're literally giving talking points from MSNBC. They can say what they want without fact checking, without doing whatever. But a woman on her porch having a nervous breakdown here in the middle of June has to get every effing thing right. No, no longer. Look it up yourselves. My God, I'm sick of spoon-feeding people as well. Holy Ghost. Well, I guess I just got some stuff off my chest now, didn't I? I'm not mad at you, per se, ladies and gentlemen. Don't take it so personally. Don't clutch pearls. But I want to know, how long are they going to push this bullshit? How long are they going to be able to do this? And we're going to let them do it, I guess. Because God forbid if we go out and protest, we'll be, you know, associated with a particular wing or whatever. I, I, honestly, honest to Pete, uh, I guess I'm done. I'm not even going to do a closing. I'm over. I'm out. Love you. I really do. Bye.